ngayon on the promises of dito telecom uh, about um, much better and much faster uh, telecommunication experience particularly in internet connections no i am looking forward i am positively hoping that this will happen because if it does we as the consumers will benefit from it because definitely the two telco giants tldp and globe will move heaven and earth to, to equalize if not exceed those promises no Hi, I'm Mats Golian. Welcome to my investment guide. Our discussion is on Dito. But which Dito? Dito Telecom or Dito sa puso ko? <laughs> Jokingly aside, uh, which Dito? Dito Telecom or Dito CME? Marami kasing nalilito dyan. Ang akala, when they invest in Dito CME, they are also automatically investing in Dito uh, Telecom or They think that Dito Telecom is independent or a, a totally different uh, enterprise with Dito CME. Yun yung mga lilinawin natin sa episode na ito. Ano? But before that, if you find our contents just right for you, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our future contents in this channel. At kung may mga tanong kayo o baka may mga na-miss ako o baka may mga mali akong sinabi sa mga contents ko, please comment below. no I'll answer all your uh, inquiries, all your comments as much as possible. No? So, yon Isa-isahin natin. Dito Telecom muna o Dito Telecommunity. Basically, Dito Telecom was formerly known as Mislatel or uh, Mindanao Islamic Telephone Uh, company incorporated it gained its congressional uh, franchise by way of republic act 8627 which authorizes um, miss latel um, to install establish operate construct and maintain a telecommunication system uh, throughout the philippines no april 19 yan, 1998 later on miss latel Uh, became a joint uh, consortium with Udena Corporation and its subsidiary Chelsea Logistics in partnership with China Telecommunications Corporation. No, so basically Udena uh, Corporation is the umbrella corporation of Dennis A. Uy. No, sino ba tong si uh, Dennis A. Uy? Basically, eh, he is a uh, Davao-based. Uh, Um, businessman, no, um, self-made, uh, mil- billionaire, number 22 if I'm not mistaken, uh, according to Forbes, has a net worth of about 650 US uh, dollars, no. His conglomerate is into oil, gas, logistics, um, education. shipping, real estate, gaming and now in telecom- telecommunications, no. Siya may ari ng Enderan Colleges, uh, siya may ari ng Phoenix, no. Uh, gas station, yung to go, Contis, no, etc. etc. So basically uh, on July 8, no, 2019, Miss Latel was renamed as Dito Telecommunity. But Rewind tayo ng konte November 2018, no, Miss Latel, no, was named as the third major telecommunications player by way of a public bidding, no. So NTC declared Miss Latel or Dito Telecom as the third major telecommunications player. And on the same date in July 18, 2019, NTC also 
issued to Dito, no, the certificate of public convenience and necessity, no less than the president, no, President uh, Rodrigo Roa Duterte awarded the certificate to Dennis A. Uh, Uy, no. So iiwala mo natin doon yung Dito Telecom. So basically, alam nyo na yung uh, history niya. But the question is, sino ba may-ari talaga ng Dito Telecom Unity? We will answer that uh, later on. no? So, doon naman tayo sa Dito CME. Basically, Dito CME is a publicly listed company no? listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. But it was formerly known as ISM Communications Corporation was also originally a mining company no uh, ang, ta- ang pangalan niya ay Itogon Suyok Mines no later on it engaged into information technology multimedia communications and other similar industries no so later on March 6 2020 The Security and Exchange Commission approved the change of its corporate name no, from ISM to Dito CME. So, yun. Uh, merong Dito Telecom, merong Dito CME. Pero, hindi doon natatapos ang lahat. No? Because in November 11, 2020, Dito CME executed the buyout of affiliate Udena CME by way of share swaps with Udena Corporation. As such, Dito CME became the beneficial owner of Udena Group's equity interest in Dito Telecom. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Ibig sabihin niyan, 60% na ngayon ng Dito Telecom Unity is owned by Dito CME and the remaining 40% is owned by China Telecom also in compliance with the Philippine laws no so malinaw na si Dito CME is the beneficial owner of Dito uh, Telecom Unity no so pag nag-invest ka kay Dito CME, you are indirectly also investing in Dito uh, Telecom. Pero ang tanong, ba't ka naman mag-invest sa Dito Telecom? E eh, bago yan, no? Meron namang smart at globe. Basically, yun nga. Kaya uh, pinayagan ang Dito Telecom to be the third uh, major telecom player is to um, challenge the existing duopoly of Globe and Smart or Globe and PLGT. You know? Of course, this video, this content does not uh, intend to discredit you know, uh, Globe and PLDT. Ako, subscriber din ako ng PLDT. You know, sa bahay, ang Wi-Fi connection ko ay PLDT. Although, hindi nga perfect, you know, bumibigay. Pero napapakinabangan naman. And I am also a subscriber of Globe for my Uh, data, my, my my mobile data, no? So, please don't think that uh, this content is designed to discredit the two, no? Sinasabi ko lang, kaya pinayagan ang Dito Telecom to be the third major telecom player is precisely because to challenge the duopoly so that the consumers will benefit eventually. Paano? Sinasabi ng Dito Telecom, basically, ano nga pala, uh, yung contents ko ay based on um, dis- disclosure of um, Chelsea ng Dito Telecom Unity website, um, ng PSE Edge, saka ng uh, news ng inquire.net, no? so, um, at saka ng uh, website ng uh, Forbes. No? So, doon ang gagaling yung mga information na binibigay ko sa inyo. No? So, going back. So, paano i-challenge ni Dito Telecom yung duopoly ni Globe at ni PLDT? Basically, according to Dito Telecom, they will have, on its first year, 27 Mbps with 37% coverage. No? 
that's year one. Accordingly, <clears throat> they will operate, start commercial operation on uh, this March 2021. No, malapit na yan. Um, they are saying that they will have 27 Mbps with 37% coverage of the whole archipelago. And accordingly, on year two, they will double that speed. And in five years, it shall be 10 times faster than its competitive competitors no? with 84% coverage. Ha, yun, no? And according to uh, Attorney Adel Tamayo during a Senate proceeding, uh, Dito Telco will introduce the pure 5G technology. Meaning, this is a lot faster. It will it will make uh, surfing in the internet faster. Now, how would the consumers benefit on this? Uh, eh, kaya-kaya rin naman ng smart yan, na PLDP yan sa kaniglop. Precisely, kaya nga. So, because of that, no, because of the promise of Dito Telecom, I believe that PLDP and Globe will strive harder to equalize no, the playing field if not to exceed the promises of Dito Telecom. No? So, end result is that the consumers, we, the consumers, will benefit from this uh, challenge of the third telco, no? the, the, the challenge of Dito Telecom uh that they pose against uh, the two uh, major players globe and pldp so tayong mga consumers ang makikinabang dahil pagbubutihan nilang tatlo yung pag offer ng uh, better calls better messaging and especially yung better internet experience to no. sum it up no when you invest in dito cme you are in effect investing in Dito Telcom. No? Sana maging malinaw yun. Although Dito CME is technically different no? as a corporate entity from Dito Telecom. But because of uh, what I mentioned about the share swaps, 60% of Dito Telecom no? is owned by uh, Dito CME and the other 40% is owned by China Telecom. No, maging malino tayo doon. Ngayon, on the promises of Dito Telecom uh, about um, much better and much faster uh, telecommunication experience particularly in internet connections, no? I am looking forward. I am positively hoping that this will happen because if it does, we as the consumers will benefit from it because definitely the two telco giants tldp and globe will move heaven and earth to, to equalize if not exceed those promises no again this is nuts goal yeah, of my investment guide lilipat na ba kayo dito ako oo oh, oh. grow your wealth protect it and invest more Thank you very much and Danka Shen.